What's happening guys? We are back for another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about restoring backups. Now you're probably familiar with the easiest way to restore backups and that's like this. You open your project manager, you go to a project, you right click on it, and you say restore backups. Now you're gonna see all these different options here of backups that you can load, whatever might be available, but that's not the only way that you can do it. What if you only have the backup file? That looks a little something like this. Well, believe it or not, it is possible to use this file and replace it so that it'll appear in your database and you can restore this backup. Now it's not as intuitive and as easy as it might seem. You can't just double click it or just drag it into Resolve. It doesn't work quite like that. But let's jump into Resolve. We're gonna talk a little bit about where to find these backups and then how you can load them back up if for some reason you don't see your project in the project manager, or maybe you just have one of these backup files and you just don't know how to load it up. Let's check this out. So the first thing we need to do is figure out where are these backup files? How do I find them on my hard drive in either Finder or Windows Explorer? So if you come on up to the DaVinci Resolve up at the top, come down to Preferences, it's gonna bring you to this window right here, your preferences. You wanna click on the user side and then come down to Project Save and Load. Right here, we've got Project Backup Location, and that's gonna be where your backups are stored. Now, I've changed mine to go to an external hard drive. If yours are at the default location, it should tell you here where to find them. But if for some reason it's a little confusing, you're still not sure, or maybe this doesn't say, you can come back here to System, and then Media Storage, and you can try checking whatever location might be listed right here. Take a look there and see if it's there. So once you find that location, you wanna go find it in either Finder or Explorer, depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac. So I've navigated to where my backups go, which are on an external hard drive, and I have a folder here called Resolve Project Backups. And in here, you see all these backups with these files and folders here, I should say, with names on it that don't make any sense. And that's part of the hard part here is you don't know what backup goes with what project necessarily. So I'm just gonna pick any one of these guys. I'm gonna open it up. And if I look in here, it's got all these files called project.db with a date after it. So 2021, 10, 11, and then it's got a random number after it. So I know that any project that was saved on a particular date is gonna have that date right here in the beginning. So one tip here is if you wanna know what the random number is, if you do have the project, you can actually come back to your project manager. And if you come and right click on a project and you come down to project backups, and then we look in this window here. And if you make this first column a little bit wider, you're gonna see that's the number on the end of that project.db backup file that we we're just looking at in Finder. So you can try and match those up if you've got the project here in your project manager. But if you don't have the project, you're gonna kinda have to take a guess at which project it is that you're looking for out of all those files. You might not be able to tell exactly what it is. Now I have opened up those files in just a text app and there's a lot of information in there. I couldn't find where it says the project name. I would think it's gotta be in there somewhere, but I couldn't find it so you couldn't search for it but it might be in there somewhere. I just don't know and I don't know where to find it. So if you can get this number here, great. If not, don't worry about it. Jump back into your Explorer or Finder and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these files. And again, I don't know what project this is because I've got a lot of them here, but I know that it was saved on today's date, the date that I'm filming this because all the projects that I opened that created a backup, they're all right here. That's what these are and that's why it's got the date as the first couple numbers here of the project.db file. So I'm just gonna pick one. This guy right here, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it with Command or Control C, depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac. Now, the next thing that you need to do is go find your database. And the easiest way to find where it is is to jump back into Resolve. You wanna open your project manager that we see here with all of our projects. Come over to your database on the left-hand side here. And if you don't see it, you might need to click this little icon right here. And that's gonna pop out this little window on the left so you can see where your databases are. Now, it should be on your internal hard drive somewhere. But if you just right click on it, you can say reveal in Finder or on Windows, it should say reveal in Explorer. So go ahead and click that. Now it's gonna pop up and show me where the database is. So I've got a DaVinci Resolve folder here. If I scroll down, you're gonna see a folder called Resolve Projects. Then going down in that, I've got a user folder here on Mac and I'll put the uh, address for the PC uh, on the screen here. So if you're working on a PC, you can follow this address, and if it's at the default location, I believe this is where it should be. But on the Mac here, I'm gonna go Users, down to Guest, and then there's a folder called Projects. Now, this is all my projects in there that I have in my entire database. So what you need to do is create a new folder and name it something that makes sense to you. Maybe it's the project that you're looking for, maybe it's Test, could be whatever, whatever it is you're looking for. So to create a new folder, I'm just gonna click on Projects, I'm actually gonna change my view here. I like the column view myself. So inside of projects, I'm gonna go ahead and click the new folder button 
or you can create a new folder however you want. And I'm just going to call this uh, underscore underscore um, loading a backup. Loading a backup. And that's just so that I can find it because I know the underscores are going to bring it to the top of my project manager in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go ahead and click OK. Create your folder. Now inside that folder is where you want to paste that backup file. So click inside that folder. I'm going to paste it in there. So now you're not done yet. What we need to do is come and click on this file and you want to get rid of everything after the DB. So the period and everything after it, you want to get rid of that. You want to say, just use that dot DB. And now that project will load back up in your project manager in DaVinci Resolve. So jumping back to Resolve, here I am in the project manager. If I just right click on here and I'm going to say refresh down here at the bottom, it's going to refresh the projects and I'm going to sort this here so I can see where my project is. And right here, we've got loading a backup. So that wasn't there before. I created that folder in the database, put the backup file in there. And now if I go ahead and load it up, we can see what project I picked to copy and, and create this backup of. So the project that I happened to bring up was a project I created today with my daughter for one of her school projects. So that is the less common way that you can load a backup here in DaVinci Resolve using that backup file. Now, if you try to use that backup file without creating the folder and getting rid of the uh, extra stuff on the end of the file extension there, it's not going to work. But if you use this method on Mac or PC, free version or studio, it should work to be able to load a backup of your project. So maybe you had to pull a backup out of an archive or something and you don't know what the project was. It is tricky to figure out which backup is it, but I've used this method before in a database on a different computer where I only had a few projects, so it wasn't so hard for me to figure out what project I was looking for. Obviously, if I've got tons of projects in there uh, like I do here, it might be a little difficult to find the correct project to open the backup of. But it's good to know this method because sometimes things get messed up, projects get deleted out of the project manager, you're not sure what to do. And this is another way that you can load a backup right here in DaVinci Resolve using the actual backup file itself. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, could you give it a thumbs up for me? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.